You've probably heard the conspiracy theory that the Kardashians curse all the men in their lives and ruin them while they thrive. Every male figure that comes and dates the Kardashian, their life kind of just goes downhill after that. This crazy conspiracy theory says that a woman who's an ancestor of the Kardashians sacrificed her soul to four witches in Armenia in order for the women in her bloodline to always have fame, money, and beauty. But in exchange, the lives of all the men close to them will suffer. Examples of this include Rob Kardashian from being happy and offered modeling gigs to developing severe depression and never leaving his house. Scott Disick, who went from being a preppy, successful businessman to developing severe alcoholism and depression in front of the whole world. Lamar Odom, who was at the top of his basketball game, then experienced severe addiction, overdose, died, and then was brought back to life. Reggie Bush, who went from winning Heisman trophies to shortly after dating Kim having to retire because he got injured and then started playing way worse and had to give his Heisman trophy back because of a scandal he was in. Travis Scott having a number one album in 2018, then becoming the most hated, disgraced artist of all time and not releasing an album since. Caitlyn Jenner, who ruined her relationship with Chris, Kim, Courtney, and Chloe, and then got ostracized by her own community. Kanye going on his first 5150 psychiatric hold, being locked in a mental hospital, his 2020 presidential run, and him literally saying he was in the sunken place when he was with Kim. Pete Davidson now being in trauma therapy after the negative media attention from being with Kim. Some could even say Robert Kardashian himself or the infamy of OJ and what happened to him shortly after. Before I share what the Kardashians have to say about this, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about all these celebrities and requests do you want to see next. I don't like about this narrative okay. is that the blame is on us. Men need to take that responsibility. It's like almost like offensive. They're blaming women for men's problems because right. Kanye is doing pretty well.